From the strange and unexplained to the things that go bump in the night, this program has been created to help you survive against the very real threats in this world. These are the Creature Files. <laughs> Creature File number 14, the Ogopogo. The Ogopogo is a serpent creature that lives in Okanaga Lake in British Columbia, Canada. It has many similarities to other creatures, like the one described in Loch Ness. However, unlike Nessie, who is believed to be some kind of living fossil resembling a plesiosaur or aquatic dinosaur, the Ogopogo is much closer to the sea serpents of old. Ogopogo is estimated to be around 50 feet or 15 meters long. It's fully aquatic and has small limbs towards the front and back of its body that it uses to glide through the water. It has a muscular body covered in thick, sturdy scales that are capable of withstanding gunfire and explosives. This also allows the Ogopogo to damage ships simply by crashing into them, something that it often does in the Okanagan. The creature was first described by Susan Allison in 1872, one of the first settlers to live in the area, though she discovered that the indigenous populations were already familiar with the creature. Since then, there have been sightings every few years, with some notable recent sightings in 1992, 2008, 2011, and most recently, there was a sighting of a sleeping Ogopogo on October 19th of 2022. These sightings, no matter how credible, actually seem to divide people more on its existence than anything else. This is because the Ogopogo has an ability that we don't yet fully understand. When someone is shown evidence, whether it's video, prints, or scales, they simply can't see it. It's hard to explain, but this is the very reason why even our own institution didn't believe of its existence. It's not that people don't see anything at all, they just seem to see something that is clearly not the same thing in the image. For example, in the most recent sighting in the Okanagan from 2022, the image clearly shows the Ogopogo at rest. But to those who have never seen the creature with their own eyes, to them, it's clearly some kind of large waterfowl. The Ogopogo is also incredibly territorial and is considered to be quite dangerous when it's active, though that only seems to be every few years. Many people believe that the best way to ensure safe passage is to offer the Ogopogo a sacrifice, though this has become less popular in recent years and may explain the increase in sightings. This concludes Creature File number 14, The Ogopogo. Tune in throughout the rest of the week and the rest of this month for more survival tips and creature portfolios. And as always, stay safe out there.